Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we can multiply this directly x times x, and we're written as x squared, and over also 5 times 5. You can write that as well as 5 squared equals to, on this side as well, 5 times 5, that's 5 squared, then over x times x, which is x squared. The next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared, then equals to also 5 squared times 5 squared on this side. Then next step here, we can also rewrite this same thing multiplying as well. When we have a times a, this same thing as a squared. That is here, we can write it as x squared or squared then equals to on this side as well we have five square and all squared the next step here we take five square all square from the right hand side to the left hand side and this becomes x square all square then minus five square all squared then equals to zero on this side and from here, we apply difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, this same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b, which implies from what we have here, a is standing as x squared, and b standing as 5 squared. That is, yeah, this follows what we have and becomes x squared plus 5 squared into brackets, then also open bracket x squared minus 5 squared plus brackets, then equals to 0 on this side. Then, yeah, we have two possible cases. The first one, x squared plus 5 squared equals to 0, or we have x squared minus 5 squared equals to 0 here. That is, solving on this side, this follows when we have a squared plus b squared, which can be written as a plus bi into bracket, then also open bracket a minus b hat. That is, yeah, this follows what we have here and becomes x plus 5i into bracket, then open bracket x minus 5i plus bracket, which is equals to 0 from here. Then next step here, we have two possible cases as well, that is x plus 5i equals to 0, or we have x minus 5i equals to 0 here. Solving from here, this gives us x equals to minus 5i, which is a complex solution here. And also on this side, we have x equals to 5i, which is also a complex solution here. At this, we have two complex solutions from here. Then, from the second case here, also we apply difference of two square. That is all we have, which is x square minus five square equals to zero. And this follows when we have a square minus b square, which is same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b. That is, yeah, this becomes x plus five into bracket then open bracket x minus 5 close bracket equals to 0 here then next step here we have two cases as well that is x plus 5 equals to 0 or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 here and solving on this side this gives us x equals to minus 5 which is a re-solution here. 
and also on this side we have x equals to 5 which is also a real solution here that is we also have two real solutions from here and all together we have four solutions now in this given problem then when we write it out we have the first solution call it x1 and this is equals to 5 the second solution x2 we have minus 5 these are the two real solutions and from the complex solutions we have x3 we have 5i and x4 we have minus 5i so here we have four solutions all together two real and two complex solutions now let's check here if what we have here satisfy this given problem now we substitute the first part of x here what we have becomes 5 over 5 times 5 over 5 is it equals to on this side also we have 5 over 5 times 5 over 5 and from here 5 over 5 same thing as 1 then times also 5 over 5 as 1 is it equals to on this side as well we have 5 over 5 as 1 times 5 over 5 which is 1 and 1 times 1 same thing as 1 which is equals to 1 times 1 same thing as 1 then left hand side is equals to the right hand side and therefore x equals to 5 satisfy this given problem and also we substitute x equals to minus 5 and what we have here becomes minus 5 over 5 times minus 5 over 5 is it equals to this side as well we have 5 over minus 5 times 5 over minus 5 and minus 5 over 5 can be written as minus 1 times also minus 5 over 5 as minus 1 is it equals to this side as well 5 over minus 5 that's same thing as minus 1 times 5 over minus 5 also minus 1 and here we have minus times minus that's plus 1 times 1 that's 1 so this is plus 1 which is equals to also minus 1 times minus 1 that's plus 1 hence we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore x equals to minus 5 also satisfy this given problem then also we substitute x equals to 5i then what we have here becomes 5i over 5 times 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over 5i times 5 over 5i and 5i over 5 can be written simply as i then times also 5i over 5 as i is it equals to 5 over 5i we can write it as 1 over i times 5 over 5i that is also 1 over i that is i times i i squared is it equals to 1 times 1 1 over i times i i square and we should note that i square same thing as minus 1 which implies here we have minus 1 is it equals to 1 over minus 1 and here we have minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1 hence we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore 5i also satisfy this given problem then we also substitute x equals to 5 minus 5i and what we have here becomes minus 5i over 5 times minus 5i over 5 is it equals to 5 over minus 5i times 5 
over minus 5i then minus 5i over 5 simply that's same thing as minus i times also minus 5i over 5 that's minus i is it equals to here we have 5 over minus 5i we can write that as 1 over minus i then times 5 over minus 5i that's also 1 over minus i the minus i times minus i we have plus i squared is it equals to this side as well? 1 times 1, that's 1 over minus i times minus i, that's i squared. And since i squared is minus 1, this becomes minus 1. Is it equals to 1 over minus 1? And this minus 1 equals to 1 over minus 1, also minus 1. Then left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that. Minus 5i also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.